Hi everyone, it's Cherie from 12 by 12 Cardstock Shop and today we are going to emboss some numbers and put together one of the two bears that come from MarjorieAnnDesigns.com. The file is going to be Franklin and Franny 2024. I imported it with a width of 11.25 and a height of 11.3 and you guys will see that further on during the video. Right now I'm just starting to give you guys an idea of how I get in the crevices, nooks and crannies of all of the pieces. And that's by using a pom-pom and an alligator clip. I get into all the spots that my finger dauber won't reach. And then I just go around the edges with my finger dauber and I even re-ink over where I went with the pom-pom. I wasn't too worried about getting it perfect just because we're gonna emboss this number two. I've already embossed it. I'm just re-inking a single number so I can give you guys the gist and idea of how to do it. I recorded this video in several fragments just to make sure I included everything I could possibly imagine to answer any questions that might come up or that you don't think of until you see the video or you'll think of it after. So there are tons of embossing folders. You can get them from amazon.com, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, you can just go into Google, type embossing folders, and click the shopping tab. It'll take you to tons of different places you can get embossing folders. These are just a few of the ones I have, and I'm just showing you that they go between the plates and then they go into the machine. There are several embossing machines. I have the Sizzix Big Shot. I know that there's motorized ones. I just haven't talked my husband into giving in and getting me one yet. Probably because my Sizzix Big Shot works just fine and I really don't have any more room for more electronics. Now, there are embossing folders for every situation and occasion, even for birthdays, Christmas. You can do, use them for card making. And my thing is I love the small ones because then I don't have to cut into my six by six uh, doodle bug pack paper and then figure out what kind of design I want to go with the paper because embossing it just gives it so much personality but then it's not taking away from your piece in entirety. All right back to Franklin and Franny now. So again this is Franklin and Franny 2024 from MarjorieAnnDesigns.com. I put Franny together already. She's on the right over there. And we're going to put Franklin together. And the reason I'm only doing one is to cut down time, but it is going to be repetitive with Franklin and Franny. You're going to put all of your smaller pieces together first. So accessories like the hat and the bow. I just knock those out first because of the fact of I will lose any little piece that's not attached to something. I normally find it on my arm sometime later or my husband brings it to me and I've already recut it out and he laughs. But what can I say? He's used to me and my nonsense with all my little pieces. So it's just also it seems to go by a lot easier and faster when you knock out all the small tiny pieces because then you really only have the larger pieces and then they by the time you realize it, you're done. So Franklin and Franny, it's this doesn't have legs. It's considered a peeker bear. So with the peeker bears, you're going to do the ears and the ear pads, the body, and then the head, and all the details to the face, such as the eyes and the muzzle. So now, pen and paper if you want the colors. I am really falling in love with the Encore paper, and I'm slowly transitioning my American Crafts over to Encore. And it's not for any specific reason as far as I don't like American crafts. It's just I've noticed Encore with the smaller pieces, the edges don't fray. And I've said that in a lot of my videos, even on my own YouTube channel. And I just can't give enough praise to this paper. It is very thick. The texture is no different than American crafts. So I've actually been mixing and matching and you'll get that from me right now. So Franklin and Franny are cut out in Encore's color brown sugar. But if you've been following me, you can use Caramel by American Crafts because I'm sure we all have tons of that. I use it on hair in my bears, but I've been transitioning over to the brown sugar. 
Now, for his hat, it was black textured American Crafts paper. And the little band around his hat is Encore's color swimming pool. Her bow is going to be American Crafts Begonia, but I went over it with some glue and chunky glitter just to give it just a little more personality. So when you line the bears up, the ears are going to overlap in just a little portion of the cheek because the number 2024 is going to sit in front of them. The purpose of this video was to show you guys how to step your paper up a notch and all the detail that embossing folders give to just a single piece of paper. And I didn't want to have all kinds of crazy patterns, so I knew that I could just change my embossing folders and give it a different texture and it would just give it the pizzazz that I was looking for. Now that right there is no texture, just plain paper. But do you see the difference? It's so simple to do, but yet the results are just amazing. That's white glitter cardstock that I used for the champagne glasses. And I went ahead and attached the hands to get the hands out of the way. The hands are going to be one of each way, so one left and one right. Um, because then the opposite hand is going to go in the letters, which you'll see later. Now, I ink all of the edges of my paper and then run them through the embossing folder because I found it's easier than trying to ink over some lumpy areas. Plus, it just kind of makes sure that the ink doesn't bleed or your chalk doesn't miss anything. So that purple is American Crafts Grape. And again, Encore Swimming Pool, the same color as the band in his hat. The straw hat by Encore is what I used on the muzzle of Franklin. The yellow is Encore's Lemon Twist. I am using Barely Art Glue today. You can use your Art Glitter Glue, Barely Art Glue. There are so many different glues. You just want to make sure that they're scrapbook safe, archival. And what I did is I traced their bodies onto the back once I had them placed right where I wanted. Just that way then I wasn't getting glue all over the place. And sometimes I do it with bigger pieces. Smaller pieces like gluing their arms on the back of their body, I don't trace it. But with such a big piece, I didn't know how far down or how far out to go. So I found tracing. It's an old technique that I've used forever and ever but it just kind of gives me more control of where I put the glue. Now, you're going to glue the arms on the back of your bears before you do glue them together and behind the 2024. You're going to just go ahead and put the hands where I placed them. I'm using Pan Pastel Titanium White Chalk for my highlights. And the reason why I did the one hand is because the other hand right here is going to overlap. And I didn't want one to be chalked and one not because it's supposed to give the essence of a light reflection. And it just softens the paper. But my biggest thing was just to show you guys all of the finished piece with the options. You can use textured cardstock. You can use embossing folders. You can use even pattern paper. But something so minute makes such a big difference. And I know a lot of people forget about embossing because it was a thing of the past, but let's use it more, you guys. Thanks for watching and have a good day.